You like the lights, Allie? Oh, yeah, yeah. The They're so cool. Gosh. And Maria, <laughs> what are you doing? Um, uh, I signed into the attic. I thought you just got out of there. Yeah, you should probably get down before you get hurt. Whoa, are the lights gonna be through, through the whole bus? No, just the bedroom. The bedroom, the bedroom. and the living area. Yes. No, so not it's your bedroom. Start over there. I know. Allie, our bedroom won't have it. I know. So today I'm crimping some battery cables. These are one aught zero gauge battery cables and the crimps are very big for them. So I wanna show you what I did to save some money on a huge like, like leverage crimping tool. So I got this guy off of Amazon for like 12 bucks or 14 bucks, something like that. What I did was I welded it onto an old uh, uh, disc that I have off of a, a rotor that I have off of a car that I, I fixed and so now I've welded it on there and it's firmly attached now I can just put stuff in there and I'll show you how it works so here are the crimps that it made you can see that it does a, a good job of them and basically all you do is lift up the spring slide this thing in here and then you whack it with a hammer until it's crimped. All right, here we are in the bus. Oh, I didn't order another video. With music playing and the lights are on. In the bus, the lights are on. And check this out. So we have two remote controls. Here's one. And I can dim the backlights. Point it. <laughs> I can turn the back lights blue or Ooh. red or white. Or I can do a cool like party light. Ooh. Ooh. But we're just gonna go with white. So we're boring. Or I can turn them off. Ding! Can't see me. <laughs> Ding! There I am. Here's my mess of wires and fuses and there's my pass through through the floor and there's where wires come in through the wall and there's the solar charge controller that says right now that the solar panels are off because it's dark but the battery is green and up here the panel says that the power the batteries are 12.6 volts the solar is at 0.5 volts and drawing and pushing zero amps Earlier today at 5 36 o'clock in the afternoon, like pretty close to sunset, it was pushing 100 watts out of three 300 watt panels, which is pretty good. So we'll see what it does tomorrow. All the light you can see from the bus, just that like blue radiant lighting. Pretty sweet. See, I went to work and nobody took video. All right, Cheyenne, tell me about it. Is a nightstand. It goes <laughs> by the bed, bed. And usually you put a lamp or a book on it. And it'll have drawers. And that's it. And it's even got a toe kicker. Do you need measurements? It's not a toe kicker. Oh, it kicks your toes. No, it doesn't kick your then toes. Then why is it called a toe kick? It's called. Because it's a place for you to put your toes. You don't. When you kick them. <laughs> She wants that to be a playroom. Well, it's gonna be a bed. No, a different room. You can make a different room. You know this bus isn't very big, right? Yeah. And you and you want us to fit in a playroom, huh? <laughs> you silly. <laughs> hey guys, show me how the bed works. Wow! Set it back down. Good job! There's some geese in the yard this morning. Alright, 
so now he's framing out the Making walls. Making sure that we're gonna be square, yeah. For the bunk bed area. So the master bed and the two side tables are done. Another wall area. Hi. All right. What's Daddy building right now? What? He did his little bed. Your bed? Can you show me? Where's your bed? Where's it gonna be? Over here. Over here. I can't see what you're doing because you turned around on me. Can you show me again now? Right there where that line is? Uh, yeah. Shayla, where's your bed gonna be? Maybe right here? No, this is the girls' room, remember? Look at the floor. Do you see the floor? Is there, you see where the other wall is? Mm -hmm. Where's the other wall? I know where it's gonna be. Where? Right here. Here and here. All right, lay down, take a nap in your new bed. Balls. There's no bed there yet. All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to use a uh, pocket hole jig from Craig. You can use multiple different pocket hole jigs. I think there's one at Harbor Freight, but I use the Craig one. I like it, I'm gonna show you. So here I have my pocket hole jig clamped down to my uh, workbench uh, and I'm doing three quarter inch material. So let me show you how to set it up for three quarter inch material. First, you set the height here for three quarter inch using the stop right here. So you have half inch, five eighths, three quarter, right? So I have it set for three quarter. And I, I uh, set my clamp up to clamp the material correctly. All right, and now you, see, now you see these measurements on here. You have half inch, three quarter, one and a quarter, one and a half, all the way over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my drill bit into here. And it, you want the flat spot to be for your material thickness, okay? Now this is plywood, and plywood is actually 23, 30 seconds. Most of the plywood you buy at the big box store. So I set mine slightly shallower than three quarter inch just to make sure I don't go through. So you would set your depth and then tighten your lock nut on your, on your collar to set your you depth. Set your material in here. If you cut your material around uh, two and a half, three inches wide, you can basically center it in the jig. You can see where your pocket hole lines are. You can basically center it in your jig and just make two holes. One. And you see I have two pocket holes on that side. Two pocket holes on this side. So this is Mother's Day. Mama. <laughs> and we started off our Mother's Day with a rubber band. Mama, look it. <laughs> I won because I know how to do it correctly. They haven't even had sugar yet. I know, that's the crazy part. All right. Let's go on in and see how we're looking. I'm coming in. Oh, man. We got lights. LED light strip. We have some walls. Heather's hiding. So there's a wall. This is gonna be the boys bunk area. There's two bunk beds. There'll be two bunk beds here. Uh, there'll be a closet here with also our water heater on the wall and water pump and everything will be in this area. This will be our bathroom. Uh, and all the way back to the bedroom where we have lights all the way around. The kids are going crazy insane. So 
this is what it sounds like when it rains in the bus. It is raining. It's pouring. I'm not snoring. <laughs> All right, guys, so here is the back of the bus. And I want to show you, I opened up the hole for our garage. Well, we're going to call it the garage. So when we open the door under our bed, we have a back storage area to store tools and random stuff under the master bed. Still all vinyl, so waterproof under here. And then I'll be sealing up all these edges completely uh, with stripping and everything. Yeah, all the way around so that this back area is like completely sealed out. All right, so we're gonna see if a child can figure out how to It works. Yep. All right, so Malachi can make it up to the top bunk and lay down and show everybody how much room you have. Perfect, huh? Yeah. And that's one, two, three beds in a school bus with no roof rays. And there's still room to sit up in bed. We have accomplished it, folks. A triple bunk in a stock height school bus.